With the aspiration to change the world, Esther Duflo focused her research on poverty in developing countries. She shed light on how small incentives can have a big effect. In the early 2000s, Duflo researched the impact of female policymakers in India, where at the time, a policy of affirmative action for women in politics was already in place. In every election, a set of villages are randomly selected and they must elect a woman as the head. Because it's randomly selected, you can compare those villages which have had experience of having a woman leader with villages that haven't had that experience. And the first thing we saw is that women do different things than men. In particular, they invest more in the type of public goods that are most useful for women, water being the chief among them, so they do more water infrastructure. Duflo and her research colleagues looked at what happened after a female leader had been in power for some time. Did the villagers' perception of a woman's ability to lead change? The economists found out, yes, it did. We found that if you were exposed to a woman leader, you're much more likely to think that a woman can be leader than if you haven't. And finally, we looked at people's aspiration for their children, and in particular for their daughters, after they've been exposed to a woman leader versus not. And what we found is that in villages which have had a woman leader, the gap in aspiration, in particular educational aspiration between boys and girls, uh, lowers in places that have had a woman. As a result, you have more girls staying in middle school. Esther Duflo believes that lecturing people about something doesn't help. They need to see for themselves. With her work in India, she established a direct link between female leadership and the empowerment of a young generation of girls able to pursue an education. Those type of results are things that made me think that the laissez-faire attitude to women in economics is not such a good one because it seems that actually intervening and kind of kick-starting the process actually has a, a number of uh, ripple, snowballing effects that can then kind of self-cropple. Uh,